Hey guys, how's it going? And I know, I know I am so delayed in getting this video out and you're just gonna have to bear with me. But the cool thing is I'm here, I'm back. You might notice I'm in different location. Yes, I've made the move to San Antonio. I'm no longer in Austin. Um, it is actually Sunday, Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon. I'm dressed, oh God, it's actually later than I thought. Um, 6.30 and I'm getting ready to go for a run very, very shortly. But had to shoot this video because I'm finally getting up my first blog post on the new blog. I've only been talking about this since like December when I finally got the new kellyolexa.com <laughs> relaunched and it's finally here, the day that I get the blog post up. But all good and one of the things you guys are going to notice for those of you that have been following me here on YouTube for a while, um, I'm going to be testing a lot of different locations, different equipment, um, so much to update you guys on, but really, and then for those of you, sidebar, for those of you that are watching this strictly on my blog, some of you are brand new um, to following me there. Some of you have been following me and are subscribers from my old blog. So for everybody, welcome back. <laughs> when I created this blog post today and I was trying to figure out when was the last time I was regularly blogging, it was, early 2016 so it's been quite a while time flies when you're not having fun and there's been a lot of not having fun in between um when i was blogging but we'll update you on that because here's the bottom line with all of the badness that's really a, a, not the term i wanted to use with all of the badness that's been going on there has been tremendous positive um transformation and inevitably just some wonderful outcomes, which is hence why I'm back blogging, why I'm back YouTubing. I have a new product that I'm launching uh, within the next 30 days. You're going to hear about it. We'll link down below on YouTube and of course we'll be linking down below in this blog post. Um, but what I'm talking about today, um, which I will link for those of you watching on YouTube, I will link so you can read what I'm talking about on my blog. One of the things I talked about on today's post is the single new practice that is making a huge difference in my productivity. And I know it can help so many of you because ultimately, I'm a, first of all, I'm applying it today to get this actual blog post and this video up. And yet it's something from a, a more comprehensive or broad perspective that I'm applying in my life, in my business life. And it's made huge it's, it's making a huge impact. I don't, I can't say that I've been doing this long enough to say, oh my God, you know, here's my results over the past two years. This was a big aha moment I've had only recently. And here's the thing, as I've said in my blog post, and I'm going to say it here again, it is very easy when you have big goals, whether it's losing weight, um, getting ready for a fitness competition, launching your own business. If you have your own business, launching a new product, um, any combination thereof. When you've got big goals, it's very easy or just maybe it's not about having a new goal. Maybe it's just about your general work life, right? And everything that you have to do. It is very easy to get caught in this land of no productivity and procrastination. And I, for one, have spent way too many months and weeks and years there languishing and kind of feeling in many ways, and I've said this so much the past two or three years, I feel like I'm treading water. I feel like I'm stuck in the same place. I feel like I'm working all the time and I get to the end of a day and I know I've worked or worked out, but where am I getting? And here's the thing. If you're honest enough with yourself, you can realize that you can be very busy and you can be working, but not be productive. I think we would all agree on that, right? But when you have lofty goals, if you're like me, what you might do is spend a lot of time creating to-do lists, creating more organized versions of your to-do list, um, adding to your to-do list, adding to everything else that you should do or read or research or look into before you hit that goal. So right, say you want to lose weight and you know that you need to eat better, work out, whatever. You can get lost in the beginning part of just 
getting ready. And one of my favorite quotes is the biggest times the t the biggest time wasted is the time spent getting started. And that has been so true for me in my life. And I have to tell you people, if you are a serial procrastinator like me and you don't want to be, but you find yourself self-sabotaging, right? Your efforts. You find yourself being busy all the time, but you're not getting anywhere. And you know you could be more organized, you know you could be more productive, but you're looking around and other people are kind of, you know, ahead of you in the race and you're not getting anywhere, you're staying in the same place, then figure out what it is that's keeping you back. For me, I realized that I spent so much time looking at everything I had to do on a project, everything I had to do to launch my new website, everything I had to do to, um, get ready on whatever new fitness program I was on. And for me, when I look at the totality of the mountain I have to climb, I spend a lot more time scaling and walking around the mountain versus just taking the steps to get up to that first you know, plateau. And that's the key because if you spend all that time down at the bottom of your mountain just looking at it and going, maybe I should start on that site, maybe I should start over there, maybe it's less slippery here, maybe I should use a rope, maybe I should use this, you're never, obviously you're never gonna scale that mountain. Um, when I sat down to do this first blog post back, I kept, I started getting into over analysis paralysis. And I realized like, I'm sitting here going, what, what do I do on my first blog post back? Everyone's gonna, you know, should I cover this topic or this topic or this topic? Should I cover them all? Should I organize it? And I started to get into that thing where I was gonna make another list and start organizing on Trello everything that I was gonna do for my blog post. And finally, I'm like, you know what? Put up one blog post, put up one, one topic, one video, and anything else you wanna cover, you can tell people like, hey, that's coming. So for me, it's this concept of doing one thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be the first thing. I'm, I told you guys I'm launching a course and I have an outline of 30 modules. We're doing 30 video modules in this course. And I started to get very hung up on the first module and I kept reshooting it and reshooting it and reshooting it. And finally I'm like, I don't have to do the first video first. You know, when they shoot a movie, they don't always shoot um, in order. Sometimes they'll shoot the end of the movie before they shoot the beginning of the movie. And I thought, why am I getting hung up on making this intro video perfect? I just started doing one of the videos and I nailed it. And then I did, because I nailed it, I felt so good. I'm like, I can do another one. I can do another one. That's what you have to do. Whatever it is that you've got on your plate, first of all, with your to-do list, this is a whole other video topic. You have got to get to the point where you know how to prioritize and, and get your list down to three to six things. Three to six things. You've got to trust that you've got to get it down to three to six things. And then you pick one of those things and tell yourself, I'm not going to do any single thing else. I'm going to show you guys. I'm even having a timer. And this timer is set for 10 minutes. I'm at eight minutes on this video. I set my timer for 10 minutes. I'm only doing this video and I'm limiting my video to 10 minutes, and I'm limiting my video and my blog post to one point, okay? You've got to eliminate multitasking. If you're like me, are you driven to distraction? I am literally the definition of that squirrel thing, you know? I will, I will start going on Pinterest, I will start going on Instagram, I will start looking at email, I will start texting my mom, I will start whatever, it is, checking the weather. You've got to say, set a timer, that's a whole other topic, why you need to set a timer, why you need to chunk your time. Do one thing towards your goal. It can be the smallest thing, but all, the point is, it's just like when a salesperson closes their first deal, you get that mindset of like, I nailed that, and then you wanna do another, and then you wanna do another, and then you wanna do another, and that is the difference of how you can pull yourself out of procrastination, Bill, into pro tip, pro tip, bleh productivity land. <laughs> it would not be a Kelly Alexa video if I didn't slap myself, fix my hair, or chug a bunch of water, or say something inappropriate. So there you go. I am so proud of myself because it is 9.15. One of the things that is very hard, I'm testing out shooting this video on my iPhone. And it is very hard for me because my old camera allowed me, like I have to literally look in a different place so that I'm not looking like this. And it's very disconcerting. And I'm going to attempt, I'm going to test it out. So I would love to hear your comments below. If you're following on YouTube, leave them in the comments below. If you're following me on kellyalexa.com, leave them in the comments. Tell me, number one, are you a procrastinator? Number two, 
Do you know why you procrastinate? And number three, does this topic resonate with you? Can you start to do better? And what do you need most? Isn't this the coolest timer? I'm gonna link up to it. Of course, I just bought it and I don't know how to press stop, literally. I'm gonna figure it out. I just turned it off. Um, I will link up to this because this is very cool and it comes in all kinds of sets, but this has a five minute, a 10 minute, a 20 minute, and a 25 minute. So let me know what your uh, productivity chal uh, challenges are. Let me know um, what you need the most help with. Is it your to-do list? Is it procrastination? Is it prioritizing your to-do list? Is it um, being not confident in general? Tell me what it is in the comments below. For those of you on YouTube, please make sure you hop on over to kellyalexa.com and make sure you subscribe. You have no idea what's coming up. Also, of course, if you're here on YouTube, I would love it if you would like this video and of course subscribe and leave comments so that I can get back to you. And for those of you I haven't seen in a long time, welcome back. Welcome back to me, welcome back to you. I will see you guys soon.